This video is sponsored by Wondershare. Mobile Trends from Wondershare lets you easily manage your iPhone's data with amazing features like the backup feature that lets you pick whichever data you want from your iPhone and back them up to your computer with one click. Once you have done the backup, you can use the restore feature to restore anything you want from any backup back to your computer. Simply select the data you want to restore and click on the start button and you're good to go. Mobile Trans also makes it very simple to transfer data from one iPhone to another. Simply click the transfer button and make sure you select whichever data you want to transfer. Once you have done that, simply click start and you're good to go. You will have your iPhone's data transferred from the source iPhone to the destination iPhone with one click. Make sure you give it a try by checking the link in the description. Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys the top 10 iPhone automations that you can create on your iPhone that you will most likely use on everyday basis. These are automations that will actually make your life easier by automating things that you should do manually every day on your iPhone. Now, before we get into all that, another thing you should do right now is leaving a like on this video. That really helps out a lot and will help this video and the channel do much, much better. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. The first automation has to do with music. So whether you play music from Apple Music or maybe Spotify, you can have your favorite playlist be played at any time you want or of course when you connect to any device. Maybe your CarPlay, maybe your car's Bluetooth or maybe even your AirPods. All you have to do is just go to the playlist you want and make sure you copy the link to that playlist. Now once you have done that, all you gotta do is just go to shortcuts, go to the automation section, tap on create personal automation. And in this case, I wanna choose Bluetooth and go ahead and choose my car's Bluetooth right here. Once I have done that, all I gotta do is just tap on next and search for URL here and tap right here, open URLs, paste the URL right there. And now we're good to go. Tap next, tap done. Whenever I connect to my car's Bluetooth, the device will automatically open that playlist. With iOS 15, Apple has added a new feature called background sounds. I see a lot of people love this feature. You can play background sounds like maybe rain or something like that, and you can have that play at any time you want, or maybe on any app, maybe like Apple Music, when you play a song, you wanna have rain in the background, you can do that automatically without having to manually turn on background sounds. So you can do that, of course, from automations, tap the plus button, create personal automation, and let's choose Apple Music here. So whenever I play music from Apple, I can go ahead and of course have background sounds as well. So when music is opened, I can go ahead and tap next, search for action and search for background sounds. And here we have background sounds and just make sure you have it on right there. Tap the next button, disable ask before running and you're good to go. Whenever you play music from Apple Music, it will of course also play the background sounds. Now I can choose this to be done of course, maybe when you connect certain devices or maybe when you're on one of your focuses mode and you can have those sounds be played automatically in the background. Now with iOS 15, Apple also introduced the new focus modes. Now they are very useful in certain cases. So let's say when you're reading something or maybe using an app that you actually use for work or maybe for school or something like that, you don't want to be disturbed or you want to turn on mindfulness or any of the personal focuses that you can create. You can have that done automatically and not have to bother about it. So let's say I want to read a book. I want to have do not disturb turned on whenever I read create personal automation, and of course, go to app right here. Choose the app, here we have books, tap the done button, and what I gotta do here is just search for set focus. Here we have set focus, of course, you tap right there and choose any of the focuses you want. In this case, we wanna choose do not disturb, and of course, turn it on right there, and you can choose until when, until turned off manually, we'll leave it like that, and disable this always have the done button and now anytime I start reading, I will have do not disturb turned on automatically. Now focuses can also be set of course on different like times of the day. So let's say maybe you, when you go to sleep, you wanna have do not disturb turned on or when you know you go to work, you start work, let's say 
at nine, you want to have the work focus set on automatically at nine. So what you got to do is just go ahead and create a personal automation and choose time of the day. So we're going to choose here, let's say 9 a.m. So at 9 a.m., the work focus will be actually turned on automatically. And of course, if we go right here, you can see you can repeat that at any time you want. You can set it weekly, monthly or daily, of course, if you want to repeat it every day. So tap on next and then search for again, set focus and go ahead and choose set focus. And of course, choose here any of the personal automations you have created or the work one, which you can create, of course, tap on personal right there and set it on tap next disable this and you're good to go you will have your focus set automatically without having to do anything more one of the automations that i find most useful on ios is the ability to set the volume of your device based on like different apps or when you're connected to different bluetooth devices maybe when you're connected to your airpods you want to have a certain volume percentage or maybe to your car a certain volume percentage you can do that with automations of course so if we tap right there and go ahead and choose like let's say an app when i want to open a certain app or connect to a certain bluetooth i want to have the volume turned all the way down or maybe to 50 percent or anything i want so let's just go ahead and choose here so if i choose maybe here any of the apps so let's just choose books for example if we go here tap done tap on next we can set the volume here simply by searching set volume and right now we can go ahead and just choose basically at what level we want to set the volume so set volume here choose the percentage you want with this slider so let's turn it all the way up so right there disable this and i'm good to go here whenever i open books the volume is set automatically at zero percent now of course the best way to save battery on your iphone is to turn on low power mode now with automations you can have that done automatically based on anything you want like time of the day or maybe when you go to sleep or stuff like that so if we go to automations here and tap to create a personal automation we can go here to sleep and let's say when bedtime begins we want to turn on low power mode automatically tap right here and search for low power mode so here we have set low power mode it's on right here tap next and it is that simple whenever you go to bed you will have low power mode set on automatically so your iphone will save a bit of battery for you when you wake up and of course having low power mode set on automatically at certain percentages that you choose is also very useful so what you gotta do is create personal automation and then right here go to battery level and choose the level that you want let's say we want to turn it on at 30 percent here so equals 30 percent or maybe falls below 30 percent whichever you want so let's go with falls below 30 percent we go here tap on add action and search for low power mode again so here we have low power mode set low power mode on and we're good to go disable this and tap on don't ask another way to use this is to turn off automatically low power mode whenever the battery level on your device rises over a certain percentage now to do that you tap the plus button you create a personal automation and go to battery level and rise above here so let's leave it at 50 percent again simply search for low power mode So there we have it and of course you go ahead and tap right there to turn it off tap next and now it is off whenever the battery percentage rises over 50 percent now when you're charging your iphone's battery of course you leave your iphone in the charger you want to know when your iphone is charged at a certain percentage you can do that simply by tapping the plus button so go ahead and go again here to battery level and then of course let's say here equals 80 percent tap on next tap on add action and search for speak text so here we have speak text and you can enter the text right here so we can say maybe battery charged so you enter any text you want right there and your iphone will actually speak that text always disable this tap done whenever your iphone's battery reaches 80 percent your iphone will say battery is charged now with focuses on ios 15 you can also choose to search with focuses on iOS 15, you can also choose 
to set a focus mode based on your location. Maybe you're at home, at work or at school, you can have like different focus modes for those places. You can simply create an automation and then go ahead and choose maybe place or you can go ahead and choose like any Wi-Fi network that you connect to. So if I go to Wi-Fi networks here, I can go ahead and choose my home Wi-Fi and set a focus to be turned on when I connect to my home Wi-Fi. So when I connect to my home Wi-Fi, of course, I can go ahead and set the focus here. And of course, choose any of the focuses that I want. And then of course, have that turned on automatically when I connect to that home network. And last but not least is a really cool trick that you can do with the automations app. Have an app close anytime anyone wants to open that app. Of course, you don't want anyone to use that app. You can do that with automation. So let's just go ahead and create a personal automation here, choose app, and then of course choose the app from here. So let's do it with calculator. So you just choose the apps here, go to next and search for the action here, go to home screen. So here we have go to home screen. Now this is an action that Apple has actually recently added to the shortcuts app. Don't ask right there. And of course, anytime someone wants to open that app, you don't want them to, it will take them right back to the home screen of your device. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. And of course, leave a like on this video and I will see you on the next one.